I think it's time we blow the scene. Get everybody and the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Studio Awesome. I'm Katie. And I'm Ryan, and today we want to talk to you about Cowboy Bebop Space Serenade. It is a competitive game for <laughs> uh, two to four players in which you are trying to capture criminals using the deck building mechanic that we all know and love. Yeah, so we have a copy of the game, so let's take a look. In this game, each player takes on the role of one of the Bebop crew. You will get a player board, a mini, and a starter deck, as well as a cube to track fuel. Each of the characters have two abilities that can be used for a certain amount of fuel. The first ability can be used by anyone who shares the same location as you, but the other ability is yours and yours alone. The deck building part of this has cards that can follow certain characters, but can be purchased by anyone. Spike specializes in getting to draw more cards. Jet sort of focuses on moving other players. Um, Faye gives you more buying power, not a surprise. And then Ed can help you get rid of unwanted cards. Some of these cards also have an extra power um, if used in conjunction with another card. For example, in this card, if you also play it with a Faye card, you will get extra fuel. The Big Shot Stand is where you draw new bounties and place them on the planets. There are three planet locations and the Bebop ship. To travel between these locations, it costs the amount of fuel shown on the location that you're trying to go to. Bounties each have a predetermined amount of strength chips and clue chips. Strength chips are usually easy to get, but will, take, uh, will make you take a damage card clogging up your deck. These can be removed by playing the required amount of resources shown on the card when drawn from your deck. Clue chips are harder to get, but don't give you any damage cards. Any player who has one or more chips will get a point for each chip when the bounty is captured. A bounty is captured when either the strength chips or clue chips are gone from that card. The player who took the last one in a pile will also get any other points listed on the card. Somewhere in the last three bounties is Vicious. Um, once he comes out, um, he really changes how the game is played and you have to be ready for it. He moves to a new planet every time he takes damage, making him hard to keep up with. Um, fighting Vicious will also give you two damage cards for each strength chip that you remove, making you really need those abilities that help you get rid of those damage cards. Um, the game ends when Vicious is captured or when he gets away, and the cowboy with the most points wins. I really liked the sort of semi-cooperative aspect to the game, where you are trying to go use abilities that other people have by being in their location, but it's asymmetrical, so you get a special ability that nobody else gets to use, and I like that part of it as well. I also liked that it was a nice take on the traditional deck building mechanic that you see in most every deck building game. I liked that there was uh, that interplay between cards where if you play a certain card and it has the red banner at the bottom, you have to play a red card in order to activate the ability in that red banner. And mm -hmm. so you can sort of uh, manipulate your deck so that you focus on just a few colors and really get that engine building going. Yeah, um, I thought they did do a really good job reflecting the way the crew operates really well in this um, with, um, you know, Jet having the ability to move people around and um, things like that. I also really liked, like you said, it's semi-cooperative because you are, um, it's really, it is hard to defeat a bounty all by yourself um, most of the time. Um, because they they might get away otherwise um but so you're you're kind of having to rely on this team 
that you sort of have in the Bebop crew, um, but everybody's kind of in it for themselves, which is a really nice reflection of the animated series. Um, and I just really enjoyed that. Also thought, um, I, I really love that each of the cards ha uh, comes with an illustration that is directly taken from the animated series. Um, so there's like scenes and you'll, it's really easy to reminisce and be like, oh yeah, I remember that one, you know. Um, some of your favorite um, villains are in there and um, it's just really neat. Uh, I can see where they could have room for expansions with this, including some of the um, some of the characters that you meet that aren't bad guys. I'd love to see some of those characters make it in maybe into an expansion or something. Um, but that I thought that was really fun. Something you have to like really watch out for is fuel. I was surprised at how how big of a part of the game that is. Um, cause you usually have to end up spending fuel to do most, almost anything It was what it feels like. Um, which makes sense because they're constantly worrying about food and fuel, but, um, it's, it's one of those things that that can really sneak up and bite you. There's been a, there were a few times that when Ryan and I played, we had a hard time. I had a hard time keeping up cause I just didn't have enough fuel built up. Um, so that was that was something you really need to watch for. I liked that when you're attacking and investigating these different um, criminals, that's where you get most of your points. It's not actually in capturing them, mm -hmm. it's in collecting those tokens, the chips, um, from attacking their resistance or investigation uh, mm -hmm. tracks. And so that's where you get most of your points. I also liked that Vicious, if you just attack him with strength, uh, he's going to get away mm -hmm. unless you attack him with a lot of strength all at once. Yeah. Or you have to really focus on getting those clues so that he doesn't move around the map so that you can capture him. So you have to really balance out uh, what you're doing there because you, you could accidentally uh, attack him too much and not capture him and then lose all of the chips that you gained in trying to to get him because when someone escapes all the chips that you had accumulated against that person are gone and you just don't get any points for yeah. them. Yeah so that's a real bummer. Um, I wasn't ready for Vicious moving around the map so much and that was where part of my problem came in when I was playing through this the first time was that I had not built my deck in a way that I got enough fuel to chase after him. And so I was having a really hard time just being able to get to where he was. Um, so that was, that was a real bummer. I'd have to definitely focus on getting a little more fuel next time. Yeah, there are cards that kind of mitigate that because I also struggled with fuel, but I had a really nice card that if I was below a certain threshold, I got to move for free, which really helps me out there at the end. I wanted that card, but he's, he bought it before I even got it. I yeah. got a chance to Hate do that. Crafting. It's great. Um, something else that's really neat about this is taking those damage cards um, they're all, I mean, they're not all different, but there is a ton of variety in these damage cards. There's some that are just like minor damage, you know, draw this and immediately discard it. Or there's some that are um, hard to get rid of that cost you, you know, like two or three fuel to get rid of or, you know, things like that. Um, it Or you have to pay money to get rid of them. So there, there's like... I loved that there were variations in that. They weren't all just exactly the same. So I thought that was a really interesting part. And I didn't realize that until halfway through the first game. And I was like, "What? wait a minute, what's going on? This one's different than all the other ones I've gotten before. And then I started looking. I was like, well, they're all different. I didn't realize it. So it was, um, that was really neat. I enjoyed the, the difference in the penalties there. All in all, we really enjoyed Cowboy Bebop Space Serenade, and we highly recommend you check it out for yourselves. Be sure to stay tuned to our channel for more videos like this one, and we'll see you next time. See you later, Space Cowboy! Here we go. Are we going to sing afterwards? Sure. <laughs> Wait, no, is it okay? No, just get everybody in the